All right, it's back to school, but not the way we were probably thinking it would be about a year ago at this time, because uh, this go round, the states that are opening up for classes as normal, well, they won't be normal. Uh, for over half the kids in this country, they will be virtual, and then another 20% will be a hybrid between virtual and in person, and really only about 20% as of this date will be going exclusively in person. I don't know how it's all going to break down when uh, North Carolina and California finish their get back to school process. But bottom line, it's going to be confusing. All sorts of new rules in place and guidelines, restrictions. Dr. Jen Caudill, uh, great to have her back here. Very calming influence here on what we should and shouldn't do. Doctor, good to have you back. How have you been doing? I've been okay. It's good to see you. How are you? I'm fine. What about these kids and what they had to look forward to? The ones that, yeah. let's say, first are going to be there in person. That's right. Well, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of changes or should be a lot of changes for kids that go back to school in person. But let me just jump back real quickly. Neil, you had said something uh, in the intro about how, you know, last year this time we didn't think this is what we were going to be faced with. Of course, not last year. I would even argue three or four months ago, even with coronavirus uh, just starting uh, right. to kind of really pick up speed in March, April, we were talking about COVID so often. I didn't imagine that we would be here. I was hopeful, I, I, you know, that, that we would not be in this place. Um, this is the th thing. Uh, I believe in in-person school as much as possible. We know that kids get so many resources from schools, from uh, you know educational resources, obviously, but to psychological resources, to programs that they need, special uh, needs programs, meals, you name it. However, it has to be done safely, and kids should not go back to school if it's not safe in the community. Um, but, but for those going back to school, that small percentage of those that are going back to school, they really need to be putting into place the CDC uh, guidelines and mandates that have been recommended. And, and, Neil, it's a whole list of things. But those things really need to be implemented to keep those children who are going back and parents and, and teachers as safe as possible. All right. Thank you, Doctor, very much. I apologize for a truncated time here with this breaking news, but always good catching up with you, however briefly. Uh, be safe and you healthy well. yourself and your family.